Hey guys, so it's uh, been a while since I made my last video. I really apologize for that. Um, I've been busy with a lot of things in my life, but uh, don't worry. I plan on getting back on track. That being said, uh, YouTube has been copyright striking a lot of my videos, which kind of sucks. I've been disputing it, but to no luck. So for now, I'm going to try to change up the format just a little bit for this video, just to see if I can avoid getting copyright striked again. All right. Uh, I thank all of you for your patience, and I hope you enjoy the video. So a few days ago, I was watching some movies on Netflix, and I came across Black Hawk Down. I was like, oh, you know, it's on Netflix. Might as well watch it again. I've already seen the movie like three times, so I was like, okay, why not a fourth? I watch it, and it's just as good as I remembered. But then I thought to myself, well, you know, this would be a great movie to really delve into historical accuracy because since it's so renowned, you know, and praised for historical accuracy, I want to actually see what I can pick out from this movie. When it comes to historical movies of the same caliber, Black Hawk Down is historically accurate. Now what I mean by that is it's not perfect, it's not even close to being perfect by any means when it comes to historical authenticity. But that being said, it does a much better job compared to much of the movies out there that have a historical background in it. So usually in movies I like to go through it chronologically scene by scene, right? That's how I usually do my videos. Uh, the problem is that Black Hawk Down doesn't really suffer from that same historical inaccurate trope that many other movies fall under meaning that each scene each um section of the movie is actually very accurate from the uniforms although i'll cover a little bit of that they, they made a few mistakes and the events itself are pretty true to life now obviously i wasn't there so i don't know the exact exact details but from all accounts it's actually very accurate this movie draws criticism for and criticism i completely understand for providing a lack of context or explanation for why things are happening and to me, that really misleads the audience at worst and confuses the audience at best. I'm going to be pointing out some pretty petty stuff. Okay, just straight up. Some pretty petty stuff. And don't take that personally, alright? This movie is renowned for its attention to detail and how much effort it puts into depicting events as it happened. Now, again, no movie is perfect, but at the same time, this movie clearly does care about its historical authenticity. So... When I point out those petty details, those small things that you might ask yourself, why does that even matter? Why are you telling us this? You know, that's no big deal. I get it. But that's part of the fun of the video. That's part of the reason why making this video is so fun. Because I can point out the small stuff that seems very uh, superficial. Because it is. The opening scrawl is pretty much the only background we get for the events leading up to Black Hawk Down. This, at least in my opinion, is actually nowhere near the amount of information needed to really understand what's going on right now in Somalia. So let me give you an example. Later on in the movie, when we see these downed pilots trying to defend their helicopter crash site, we see angry civilians throwing stones and trying to attack these pilots. Now, if you just knew what the movie told you, that really wouldn't make any sense. I mean, these are civilians after all. They have no weapons. At least most of them don't. So why are they so angry against the uh, American forces, the people there to help them to end the starvation? This is because a few months leading up to Black Hawk Down, there is a crucial event that really explains why the civilians are so hostile against the American forces. On July 12 of 1993, the United States and UN coalition sent Cobra helicopters to attack a house supposedly housing uh, warlords and supporters of uh, the dictator Adid's men. Now what the United States didn't know was that the house contained both enemy combatants and also civilians, lots of them being poets or artists or just civilians working there. 
uh, and the aftermath of the attack was dozens and dozens of dead civilians along with uh, foreign press covering the uh, carnage. Um, that event pretty much changed the, uh, or at least much of the civilian population of Somalia against the United States and UN forces, seeing that they had civilians killed uh, within the uh, collateral damage. Again, uh, this event really does explain why the Mogadishu population was so hostile against the American forces. And I believe it was definitely a major, major event that should have been covered, or at least mentioned, even briefly, prior to the start of the movie. Blackburn did actually fall from a helicopter in real life. However, unlike what's being shown in the movie, it was not because of an RPG shot. In fact, all you have to do is Google an RPG shot. It travels almost instantaneously from the moment you pull the trigger to the moment it impacts. There's really no time to see the rocket fly through the air and react to it like what we see in the movie. The Oakley glasses you see here were actually made six years later in 1999, and the book you see here was made, uh, or at least written, a year later in uh, 1994 so what really confuses me really is that yes this is not a big deal it's really not but in a movie that cares so much about detail you know why would you have these two objects in it you know I mean you've, you've obviously gone the uh, other 10 yards to cover everything else to make it as historically authentic as possible so I just thought I'd bring it up not a big deal let's move on the book Black Hawk Down makes it absolutely clear that the American forces there uh, the Rangers and Special Forces were not well prepared. They were uh, conducting daylight raids uh, where the enemy knew exactly where they were, exactly where they would land, exactly where they would be. And uh, many of the uh, American soldiers there were at much times incompetent, meaning that they were not prepared uh, for their situation or just simply did not bring the proper equipment, such as night vision goggles. That being said, the movie kind of gives off the vibe that the American soldiers although at times in chaos were always on the move always having a direction always having you know a plan and that simply was not the case again these are the words from the book author himself so another criticism is that the movie really dramatizes lots of the events for example when uh, the uh, Rangers go against this technical that never happened or at this scene when the child soldier shoots one of his friendlies that also never happened Honestly, I absolutely hate it when movies decide to slap in these, you know, quick Hollywood-esque moments, you know, just to capture the audience's attention. I mean, if I wanted to see fake events, then why am I even trying to watch a historical film? Why don't I just watch Star Wars or something like that? Nothing wrong with Star Wars, but there's a dozen other movies I can think of that I would rather watch than just watching a complete fabrication of things that did happen in real life. At the end of the day, you have to realize that Black Hawk Down is a movie, and for being a historically based movie, it does a very, very good job of displaying the Battle of Mogadishu in a Hollywood-esque light, but at the same time doing the events justice. The video itself isn't that long, I understand that, and the main reason for that is because, again, at the end of the day, there's not that much to criticize about the movie itself.